Hello, Namaste, Salam Walekum, Sastriyakal. Welcome back to another session with your washer at Vareva.com. Today I am going to use Indian mackerel, that is the Bangada fish. We are going to stuff it and make one of the delicious preparation. One thing what you are learning today is how to debone this fish and after that you can make many of your own variations. So let's go ahead and make this dish. Now you can take this uh, Bangada fish, that is the Indian mackerel and uh, run the knife like this till the head okay there is a lot of crap in this take it to the sink and clean this thoroughly after you clean this fish you can see that there are a lot of fine bones in this so what we are going to do is we are going to massage the fish I love getting massaged but today the fish is getting the massage so at the center just you know massage it till you can feel the bone in the center on the bone side massage this on both sides so what this happens is the meat becomes little bit uh, soft and you will be able to pull the bone out after massaging open this and you will see the meat is separated from the bone then hold it near the head and break it and then slowly remove this okay now you can see how easily this is coming off and Take it as edge as possible and break the bone out. Now you can see that pretty much all, even the fine bones have come out. This is what the massage does. If you ever want a massage from me, please do call me. My number is, now you can see that this fish bone is all gone and this fish is ready to be stuffed and it's going to be super yummy. Now for the stuffing, we're going to use the shallots. This is going to be you know some rice and shallots so put the shallots in the ding chick do not use onions you know the shallots have a very nice uh, uh, awesome rich flavors which goes very well with this preparation it's good and add little bit of ginger and crushed ginger also see i'm afraid to tell people to use ginger garlic paste because if you use the store brought or even the ginger garlic paste what you made at home and kept it in the fridge for one week it will stink inside a fish so just crush it fresh and use it take this crushed uh, shallots and uh, ginger in in the bowl in this add uh, finely chopped garlic our indian spices cumin powder coriander powder and chili flakes and here is raw mango that is cut into small pieces and add some boiled rice into this and take your ding chick this thing and just uh, crush it little bit let the mango and everything also get slightly crushed at the same time by crushing the rice will become a nice binding for this all ingredients add salt add uh, some chopped coriander and squeeze in some lime juice uh -huh. and then just put half an egg inside this this will also help in holding the fish together mix this all very good and we're going to use this as a stuffing inside the fish take this mixture and stuff inside the fish don't be afraid you know fill in good after that just shape the fish so that it has got a nice shape now just put the fish in the flour just give it a simple coating and then we're going to pan fry the fish this coating of the flour will give a very nice uh, outer texture now look at this you know after stuffing this looks so fantastic a lot of time people pay a lot of money and go and eat this in the restaurant they'll be wondering how these are made you know if you know the simple techniques this is one of the cheapest fish in India but when they serve in the restaurants they sell it at a very high price but if you know how to make this at home you yourself can make five star hotel fish preparations like this at home now you look at this I put it in a pan and it is nicely frying see only when you dropping the fish in the pan be a little careful but after cooking for a while the stuffing gets nicely or strongly binded and now you know a little bit careful and just turn it to the other side okay look at it okay now the other one too wow now look at this fish this is so fantastic it looks as if they are making out in a pan i mean hugging in a pan look at them wow i can bring them a little closer or farther away 
back to back they were not looking so good and so i now move them far away now they will fry seriously wow 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 even before i pull them out of the pan i'm feeling wow 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 you know i'm so excited wow look at this fish if anybody sees this they'll think lot of effort has gone into making this fish but you saw how simple it is and look at this fish take any piece and without fear bite onto it because you will not see a single fish bone in it ha uh ha -huh. nice sourness from the mango but when i was frying did you see guys see some of the rice is also getting fried this becomes nice and crispy with every bite it gets nice and awesomely crunchy wow and the fish can you believe simple indian mackerel that is a bangda fish can be made so delicious mm 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 dear friends go and get this fish try the way i showed you and you will know how fantastic this fish is but do not forget varava is all about inspiring others to cook so please post your recipes and cooking tips at varava.com so others can benefit from your great cooking thank you mm mm, -mm.